not only is it quick to give, it's given in about five minutes as a quick IV push, which is great so patients don't have to spend excess of time in the doctor's office, but also it has a very good side effect profile. So its most prominent side effect is um, neutropenia, uh, and neutropenia is something as, that as oncologists we manage and deal with all the time. Um, luckily, though, febrile neutropenia was fair, fairly low. Um, the other thing that halivin can cause is it can cause a little bit of peripheral neuropathy. Uh, it's about a little under 8%. Uh, and that's really important because so many of the drugs that we use that target the microtubules can cause uh, peripheral neuropathy. So it's good that this one is definitely on the lower end of the spectrum, which is great. Um, halivin rarely causes GI toxicity, so that means you don't need to worry about the nausea issues. You don't have to worry about constipation or diarrhea. So from a patient point of view, I think that that must be a uh, very uh, welcome um, uh, addition because you don't have, just don't have to worry about these things.